was about to say, okay. I, I that's why I read that thing. I couldn't hear y'all on the. <laughs> Commissioner Shaw. Here. Commissioner Hurley. Here. Council Member Trailer. Here. One absent, sir. All right, we do have a quorum. All right, thank you. The day is uh, this at uh, this time number three. It is my pleasure to welcome two co two new commissioners, uh, Han Shea and uh, Council Member Mike Trailer to the ANP Commission for the City of Jacksonville for the year of 2020. Thank you. Welcome. 2000. What did I say? 2020. 2021. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Next thing I say the presentation for something that uh that uh. I like to do and I don't like to do is presentation of service award. We thank the two council mem two members that's uh that's getting the awards tonight is uh Commissioner uh, uh Andy Patel and Lee Collins. Let's go ahead and we come up. Andy has been here since two thousand five, is that right? Yeah. 2005 two thousand five. Yes. Fifteen years. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for your service for the city of Jacksonville. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Les Collins, <clears throat> he has been here not as long, but thank you for the service for the city of Jacksonville and the city council of Jacksonville also. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All righty. Thank, thank you for the, the time that you didn't sleep and the time you worried about how this thing was going to work. <laughs> All righty, righty. Do I hear a move, a presentation, presentation of the minutes? So moved. Do I hear a second? All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? Thank you. The minutes passed. Cheryl, are you here for your uh, financial report? I am here. Can Alrighty. you hear me? Yes. 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 Okay. All right. The financial report is for the uh, the period ending December 31st, 2020. The total assets was $1,080,619. And accounts payables are the total liabilities was eighty three thousand four hundred and two dollars. And then on the next page, it shows the revenue and expenditures. The total revenues was eight hundred and twenty nine thousand and thirty four dollars. The total expenditures were five hundred and sixty two thousand two hundred and nineteen dollars. Excess of, of revenues over expenditures was $266,815. The next few pages is just supporting documentation on that. And so if you turn to the last page, it shows that the, um, the hotel motel gross revenue receipts for the month of November is what we received in December had $210,046. On a year-to-date comparison, that's down 4%, but on a month-to-month -month comparison, it's up 6%. Mm, good. On, the, on the prepared foods, the gross receipts was 3,189,923. That's kind of like a 0% a increase on the year to year to date uh, comparisons, but on the month to month comparisons, it's up four percent. Overall, the gross receipts were three million three hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred and sixty eight. That shows a year to date as staying the same, and the month to month comparison as being an increase of five percent. Yeah, I want to have any questions on Shirley and the financial report. If not, do I have a motion to accept the financial report? So moved. Second. Do I hear any questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Those, those opposed? I just have it. All right. Thank you, Cheryl. All right. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate you. All righty. <coughs> Old business. Madam Secretary, old business. We had the budget last time, so we're doing good. I don't have any old business. All right, the new business. The new business is election of officers. That's the new business on the A. All right, yes, sir. Uh, I'd like to nominate Roger Sundermeyer for chairman. Roger Sundermeyer has been nominated for chairman. Stephanie, are you with us? Stephanie, are you with us? 
Here, can you guys hear me? All right, we need you to uh, to uh, to di direct this uh, this election for the election of officers okay. and, and the election of secretary of the uh, A and P commission. Did You're we have a second for Roger? Pardon? Did we have someone second the motion to appoint Roger? Second. He seconded. Okay. All, All right. those in favor? Aye. 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 Do I hear any other nomination from the floor? Any other nominations? Rogers, the new chairman of the ANP Commission. All in favor say aye. 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 All righty. All right. Uh, what is about the uh, uh, secretary? Annie, Annie was the secretary of the uh, commission. Uh, let me ask a question on that. What, what is, as secretary, what, what did Andy have to do? Um, what was his job duties? What was his functions as secretary? All he did was um, sign CDs when they were purchased for the commission. D as do we have to have a secretary? As a secondary signer. As a secondary signer, could the chair? That's part of the, that's part of the bylaws. The secretary is part of the bylaws of the A and P commission. That's what it is. So we have to have a secretary. Yes, you have to have a secretary. Okay. Any other questions? Who's, would like to nominate anybody as secretary? Now we're new. I nominate Mr. Hurley to be secretary. <laughs> <laughs> Who you say? He I nominates me. Oh, well. I I Any other nominations? <laughs> Get back up here. <laughs> Any other nomination? You sound like you have all right. So really, all, all the Commissioner Hurley has been been nominated. Signed a secondary signature. Yes, that's all. That's all right. Right. Correct. All right. I'm, I'm not responsible for it. It's just I'm just signed for it. No, you're, you're, well, not, you're not responsible for okay. anything. And you are the, um, and also you will be the secondary. Well, actually, now that we've got a new chairman, both of you will be signatures on the checks at the A and P Commission um, for the expenditure checks that are sent out. And okay. that's that's just a matter of. Uh, signing a piece of paper and us putting it into the system. Right, and it copies. And then, and then the banking. I got it. Printer card. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Any yeah, other questions? Did I, did I vote on that? No. All in favor of uh, Commissioner Hurley being the secretary of the ANP Commission of the City of Jacksonville, say aye. All right. All those opposed? Okay. New secretary. All right. B, approval of the photograph. <coughs> quote from Madam Secretary. Uh, in the budget that was just. Hold it, hold it, hold, 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 hold. I have to give up my chairmanship now. We've got a new chairman. Let me go no further. Roger, Roger. <laughs> <laughs> we we don't do go this no next further. No, <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh. that's it, that's it, that's it. Do I, do I need to sign a bank? I don't go no further. All right, sir. Yeah. All right. So you'll call me. Yeah, I'll come by. Take my name tag with me. Take my name plate. All right. So where were we? <laughs> okay. In the um, in the budget that was just approved for 2021, there was an $18,000 line item that was approved for advertising. One of the things that I may mention within that was the expenditure for photography, for updating our photography, which is now out of date. Um, I did get a quote from sales agency who's done our past photography for us. That is, I had them make it kind of broad. That could be potentially less in cost than what's there, but I want to make sure we covered all the bases of what that expenditure <coughs> could, could or could not entail, depending on the need for each location. I wanted to kind of present that to the commission for the commission's awareness and whether or not the commission wanted to proceed forward with that. And the photography, the photos are for the website? Website, brochure. brochures. Um, we did put a... It'll be in, anything that's used to publicize Jacksonville, probably print or digital will be used. This photography will be used for. Okay. Is that fair? Yes. Thank you. And so, what is the talent? talent. A model. So they'll stand there and go, this is... You'll have one smiling person or a, a family doing something. Here, that's pretty good money right there for a half day. If I was good looking, I might do it. 
<laughs> I, I'll go ahead and do it. Let, <laughs> can, I, can I ask a question though? Um, did we have we talked to any? Are we locked into sales agency for this? Have we talked to anyone else? Because I mean, we've got photographers in Jacksonville. Did we have we talked to like Scott Head or any of the other Jacksonville photographers to kind of get a an idea of maybe they could do it less expensive? Plus, it's also a Jacksonville business that we would be promoting in the process. We are not locked into anyone. We can go in any direction. And I was not aware of Scott Head, so I think I'd I'd like to at least get some ideas of some pricing from at least one other, especially a Jacksonville person, just to make sure that number one, the sales agency is not just, you know, ripping us with a price. And second, to at least give some local folks an opportunity to, to promote the community they, they live and work in. I can have that for the next meeting. Okay. So then I would assume that we would just table this until the next meeting. We could compare right. quotes. Is that correct? Uh, we could, but I don't, I don't, it was not a, on here as a, um, well, actually, since it says approval, then yes, we can table that to okay. the next meeting. Make a motion. We table it till the next meeting. I second. Now we have a motion and a second to table the uh, estimate for photography from the sales agency. Is there any further discussion on that? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. We'll talk about this next time. Bring this down to announcements. Let me get to my phone. Hang on. Okay, there we go. Uh, announcements. Okay, Parks and Recreation will host the second annual Cupid Shuffle 5K walk run on Saturday, February 13th from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. beginning at Dupree Park. Pre-registration is $25 or $35 on event day, and participants will receive a T-shirt and medal. And also keep in mind that we had committed to sponsor this at a certain level, so... Um, we're really hoping for a good turnout. And second is the Jacksonville Senior Wellness Activity Center will host a Taste of New Orleans drive through lunch pickup on Tuesday, February 16th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Uh, tickets are one meal for 15 or two meals for $20. So it's actually, might as well go ahead and get two meals. Um, are there any other announcements that's not on here? No, sir. Okay, and it shows that our next meeting will be February 16th, unless otherwise noted. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to ask a question yes, sir. before we adjourn. On the chamber, <clears throat> Stephanie, this might be a question you need to answer, but on the chamber and the contract, we have them coming in once a quarter to re to give us a report. Isn't that correct? Yes. And isn't that so? Say that again. Yes, I believe that is correct. And so that is in the contract. Can that? Can that be amended where they come to every meeting? Have any parties signed the contracts yet? We can amend that if they haven't. If it hasn't been executed. Yes, it has. It, she said it's been executed, so that would have to wait until next time. Most likely, unless they would be willing to amend that as well. I don't think it's unrealistic to just talk to court, have a visit with Courtney, and say we just need a little bit more follow up every month just to make sure that the dollars are being applied the way we feel like they should be. I don't think there's anything wrong with asking her to come in and talk. Okay. And I'll, I'll, I'll do that if you want. Okay. And then my other question is, where are we on the dog park? Kevin's not here. I, I know I'm, hey, Kevin? Some, some shaking. I think you're muted, Kev. Yeah, yeah, I was taking it off, sorry. So I, I've seen the fencing go up. I've seen the <clears> drainage work. Uh, are, are are we in the process of doing the pavilion and the water feature? The the pavilion, yes, we're actually in the process of all of it. It's going obviously slower than we expected. We've had some shipping delays because of COVID. We've actually some of our our uh, items that we've ordered the, are delayed because of COVID. But mm -hmm. yes, fencing is up. You're correct. Uh, we've got concrete. So the sidewalks are in. Uh, some of our stuff is starting to, to trickle in now. We're working on signage, trying to get quotes on signage as we speak, but it, we are making progress. It's just been slow. Okay. Uh, when I drop my recycling off, I always look over there to see what's been done so far. So uh, my other question is, 
and I don't know if, if Parks and Rec is responsible for this, but we have a water feature in the uh, gateway at Main Street. Yes, sir. I, I've seen water in it once when we got a real hard rain. <laughs> that is, uh, it's, that originally was not our project. I, I was not involved in design or construction but it is something we are we have taken the maintenance over on uh, right now it's winterized they we've, we've had to drain it for the winter there was several leaks from the original contractor uh, it, it's it's been a little bit of a headache but I think we've got everything worked out okay and I understand winterizing but I mean even when it was August we didn't well, have that's when we were fighting the leaks and, and so have, have they been repaired yes sir they've been repaired from what i've been told come spring we'll we will put the rpz the backflow back on yeah. and we will be taking over the maintenance okay i just i guess my, the main reason i mentioned that number one because it looks a whole lot nicer when a water feature actually has water but number two i don't want the dog park water feature to be bone dry <laughs> also that right. we're taking right. that into account and hopefully not using the same contractor no sir <clears throat> okay hey kevin while i got you a couple of questions this is roger have we did i miss it have we announced the creation of this dog park as far as in the paper and let people know what's coming or did i miss that we have not and one of the reasons is because i was leery of what we're fighting now what's <clears throat> going to happen you know usually when do you announce something you want to put an opening date yeah and i was i was leery just in talking with some of the suppliers and some of the vendors on the the struggles they were having to even get their their products i didn't want to put it out there and then it'd be three or four months and then you know kind of look like well well what are they doing you know we, we should have the same ready well do you think we could i mean just from the standpoint of rather let us control the narrative rather than letting facebook run them run the show of saying well i heard this is coming i heard that's coming and all of a sudden that chain link fence is a whole different purpose than what it's intended right. for so i mean if, if we can kind of get out in front of it and set the tone of what it's supposed to be and and people just have to be patient i mean we understand the the environment we're in and things aren't going to move as fast as they used to but uh, maybe we just need to kind of let folks know that this is some of their their tax dollars at work being reinvested back into the community yeah and we can do that yeah we'll 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 definitely we'll get something and it may we may just i mean we'll we'll start with some face a facebook post and maybe a press release or yeah. whatever just yeah. so, so we can get the word out i wouldn't be opposed to <clears throat> pricing a banner on the fence itself yeah or maybe even putting one over at graham and loop where you gen or even at the Firestone, just a vinyl temporary banner, they're relatively inexpensive. Uh, I wouldn't be opposed to getting some pricing on that and taking a look at it to help promote what is actually being done. Would you want to do that now, Jim, or would you want to wait until closer to opening? <laughs> when's, when's that? Uh, yeah, I, I understand. <laughs> I, and, you know, we fight. The answer is yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I would want to do it now. We fight the same thing as far as equipment, suppliers, parts. Uh, you know, you can't get par. I, I think anybody that does any business at all has an understanding of the environment in which we're trying to operate within. But I just think, and I, I do agree with Roger. You know, let let us control the narrative and not somebody sitting at home on the couch with nothing else to do except slam things going on mm -hmm. so I, I i wouldn't be just i wouldn't be opposed to say you know coming soon or in pro working you know project you see that all over town when they're constructing the highway you, projects yeah you see how you know estimated completion date we don't even have to put that on there but i do think it helps pre-advertise and lets people see that that money is actually going into something to make a, a a nicer community in which to live. Yeah, I mean, to your point, because I think that's one of the the things that we're either trying to to change or or reinvent was 
the thought process behind what was the purpose of an A&P commission. And it's not solely for tourist attractions. It is also for quality of life and for, you know, making sure that 28 to 30,000 of our own residents are choosing the amenities available in our town every day. I mean, so I think them seeing something that's been their tax dollars, their investment, seeing that pay off is going to be kind of kind of a big thing for them as opposed to just an ad in a, in a book or a paper or what have you. So I, I'd like to get that done sooner rather than later. And we, we can we can definitely start the advertising this week, and I'll, I'll I'll get a price on the banner as well. One one last thing from me is uh, the shooting range, uh, which I love. Do we have a lot of tournaments booked coming up? We do, and and we're hoping they won't be canceled as they were in twenty twenty. Uh, I I actually I'm not in my office. We're put getting carpet put in. Uh, I've got a list of those. We have, I, I want to say it's 40, but if you if you guys would want, I can send y'all. Uh, 40? Uh, 40 tournaments? Yes, sir. Is that like three-day shoots? Some of them are three days, some are five, some of them are one day. It and, just, it depends. And when we have those shoots, uh, you have to excuse my ignorance on this, but do we have some kind of literature or brochure that we hand out to everybody that maybe has restaurants, hotels, uh, things to do, or, you know, where the grocery store is, or, you know, do we have that available and hand it out to each of the body that signs up? We don't, but that's something we could work on for sure. Well, I, I would be opposed to having something that we could put in their hands when they sign up and just hand it to them I wouldn't be opposed to looking at funding for some of that. We may already have something that we can do. We just need to print more. I don't know. But that's that's all about marketing and advertising what you got. And you got all these people coming in from all over multi-states, right? Yes, sir. Well, yeah. they, they don't know where the come and go is, I wouldn't guess, unless they drove up the interstate. I, I just think it's nice to be able to have that as a point of reference. Well, let's also think maybe because a, a printed piece is going to probably wind up once they're done with it, it's going to be wadded up and thrown away. And so what gives us more longstanding uh, tenure for something? Kevin, talk to me about the, the Parks and Rec app. What kind of information is housed within that? And so to the point that, you know, with, with smartphones and everyone's going to be carrying one of these, if we put a QR code up at the front gate, if that opened up a list of the you know, businesses and a list of restaurants, I mean, or that points back to our Parks and Rec app, I mean, how robust is that thing and how can we get more traffic pumped into that, which also may have a, a calendar of coming future events for, for Parks and Rec stuff? Roger, I'm a paper guy. That's what I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to save I'm the world, man. I'm, I'm trying like to save the world, Jim. I don't read a book, you know? I don't do it. I'm trying to save the planet, man. But I do like the thought process. I do like the idea. Most my, my daughters, you know, their QR code, they order it. Well, think about, like, the menus. I mean, menus, now you're just taking pictures of it. They're not even passing the menus out. Yeah. Um, and so I just wonder what, how we utilize the, the future technology. And a lot of these high school tournaments that you have, those kids and those parents are going to be oh, yeah. addicted to those phones. Well, and I think that's a great idea. But I do think <clears throat> we need to look at that and pursue that. We got, you know, assuming we have our tournaments. Mm-hmm. Right, and, and it may be something, and I don't know, this is just a, an idea with just a, kind of brainstorming here. Is it something, instead of being on the Parks app, we do a an A&P app, something, you know? I, I just, I, I'm, because mm -hmm. I can't advertise for every business in Jacksonville on our Parks app. So how do we choose, you know, is it, is it something is there a place where this information is already available? Is, is it something we get the chamber involved with? Well, I think we do. I know we have brochures at the chamber. I don't know if they have a QR code on them, but right. I, I think it's right. something we need to look at and work on yeah, going we, forward. We can't fix it tonight, but I do think... Yeah, we, and I don't disagree. It's definitely something we, we need to look at. We can send a list of all the restaurants and hotels, you know, and design the book. Yeah, I mean, even even if even if it's yeah, a email, even if it's a pass through on the QR code to the you know the chamber's website or to a, you know something, we I think that's going to be the the ticket for us is to get into the digital space of getting this stuff in someone's hand, and a lot of these apps they don't get deleted, and so they're going to still keep that up and and have and refer back to it at some point. So 
like I said, we're not going to solve it tonight, but we need to be willing to have some really deep discussions about some of that stuff going forward. Uh, Kevin, while I got you before I cut you loose, um, question about the, the digital sign out front of City Hall that I hadn't seen working in quite some time. Who's responsible for that, and how do we get that thing up and running? IT was handling that, Roger, for since I've been here. And from what I understand, and I don't really want to speak for them, but from what I understand, it's beyond repair. Well, and that's what I was going to go with is I imagine that technology, because I experienced this with the bank's time and temp units, that those bulbs and the, the motherboards, I mean, that stuff's so antiquated now that, I mean, looking at our our budget and our bottom line, maybe there's an opportunity for us to do an AMP, a nice LED digital board out there that is going to be a message board of events and things that are coming on, coming and going. And that's, that's prime real estate that people are sitting at that stoplight just twiddling their thumbs. And so I'd rather them twiddle their thumbs and read our message as opposed to get on their phone and do something else. So, I mean, I think we probably need to talk, discuss taking some money and buying a up-to-date modern LED board that Nikki can, uh, can control from the magic of her computer. I've actually got some pricing on on some LED boards, okay. LED signage already. Uh, I'd be happy to sit down and talk with you guys, you know, at, at a meeting or one-on-one, -on -one, however. Can, can we however do that at the time. next meeting? Sir? Can we do that at the next meeting? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I think we need to have that on the agenda for discussion. I think some of the <clears throat> You say deep discussion. Yeah, we need to go ahead and get them on the agenda as new business for the next time we meet, whether that be February or hopefully February, because these some of these things are have a short window. Yeah. So maybe Kevin, by in the February meeting, if we could discuss how well the social post has gone on the dog park, and maybe the next step of that with the banners or what have you, news release, and then the. Um, uh, the schedule for the shooting range and then as uh, some discussion on the LED message center in front of City Hall I think that would be sufficient for Kevin don't y'all yes okay. since you don't have anything else to do besides yeah, carpet I'm, I'm <laughs> you better hurry and get that carpet down boy because you got some work to do. deer season's coming to a close and the fish ain't biting Kev come on I got it. there's still three weeks of those <laughs> <laughs> alright that's it for me is there does Ray have his hand up Ray, did you have your hand up? Uh, it's good on you. It's good on you. Oh, he raised his hand on one time there. He was saying yeah. something. Um, is there any other any other discussion? Anything. anything else? So our next meeting is scheduled for February sixteenth. Is that correct? It'll be Tuesday after the holiday. Okay. So, other than that, if there's no other business, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Do I get to bang this? Yeah. <laughs>